Today I'm going to go over some basic shapes in Illustrator. And so go ahead and open up Illustrator. I have CS5, but this will work with the various versions, you know, CS2, CS3, CS4. I'm going to go to File New. And yours might look a little bit different on CS3, but basically has the same settings. Uh, letter size, we'll do portrait instead of landscape. Uh, new document profile for print. Doesn't really matter for our purposes today, so we'll just go ahead and click OK. And if you notice over on the toolbar, there's a little square. This is the rectangle tool. You can press M on the keyboard and it will select it. Uh, click and hold on to that because anytime you see the arrow in the lower right hand corner, that means there's more options for that tool. So by clicking and holding on to it, it'll bring out some options. We have the rectangle tool the rounded rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, polygon tool, and the star tool, and the flare tool. Well, rectangle tool, go ahead and click and drag out. You notice we can make a rectangle, either portrait or landscape orientation. If you hold shift, it will maintain the proportion so it's a perfect square. And you can let go, and that will create our rectangle. Notice up on the top, this control palette. If you don't see that, go to window, and then control. If you don't see the tools over here, go to a window, then tools. So we have a pretty basic square here with a stroke. If you click down here in the bottom of the toolbar, uh, tools palette, you'll see that it's just set to black and it's one point. And the fill is set to white. And if you don't want any fill, you can uh, click the none right here down at the bottom. You can click the stroke and click none as well. Then you still have the shape there, but there's no stroke and there's no fill, so it's not really visible. But let's just add a stroke to it, so make sure this stroke is selected. And you can choose a color over the colors palette. You can go to window color or choose it from over here. So I'll just choose a blue. Just click whichever. And you can't really see it well, so up on the stroke, up on the top, if you don't see that, you can also go to window, then uh, stroke as well and you can make it a little bit thicker there. So make a 14 point. So this is a pretty basic shape and I can click and drag with the selection tool, the black arrow there, and move it around. You can also go right off the corner and it turns into that double sided arrow and then you can rotate it and you can hold shift if you want to maintain it at like a perfect diamond or square so it keeps it at those uh, specific angles, you know, 90 de degree, 45 degree angles. Now if you want to add a fill, you can click that down there at the bottom and then choose another color. And that adds a fill so it's not transparent. Now if you still want to edit this, you can still do that. If you click the direct selection tool, that's the white arrow at the top of the tools palette. And I'm just going to click off to the side here. Now if you click on a corner, this anchor, and drag it, you can actually move this so it's not really a square anymore. So we're creating a different kind of shape. This is good for when you're making logos. You can uh, come up with many different shapes by starting with those specific shapes. Okay. So that's uh, clicking and dragging the anchor points, which are the little corners there. You can also click a path. If you go right over the path, this line, you can move that as well. I'll move that out of the way for now. Go back to the rectangle tool and if you click and hold there's a rounded rectangle tool. You can click and drag that and it just has a slight uh, rounded edge on the corner. Okay. Once you create these you can also go to object transform. Of course you can move it just with one of the selection tools but you can rotate Reflect, Scale, Share. I'll just show you what one of these does. Uh, reflect, for example. And you can click Preview. And uh, let's see. It's not that one. So if you do rotate, you know, 34 degrees, and it'll do a specific angle, OK? And there's a bunch of different options you might want to try around with, play around with um, under Object and Transform. 
And some of you don't need to use that. You don't need to go there just to move it or rotate it. You can use the selection tool, but if you want a specific angle, you could use that. Now, if you click and hold and go to the ellipse tool, well, that's just a circle. You can do an oval or you can hold shift and make a perfect circle. Same settings apply. You can also change this brush, which is the stroke. You can change that up there as well, you know, to make something else. And you can also go to window and then brushes and pull up a bunch of different brushes. Um, this little side arrow. Whoops. And that'll give you more options um, down here. You can go to open brush library and you have arrows, artistic, a bunch of those. It's that little rightmost air uh, kind of down menu there on the brushes palette. If you click and hold again on the lips tool, you also have polygon tool. What that is, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag around these. The selection tool, delete those so we can concentrate on this. If you use the polygon tool, if you click and drag, you notice it's almost like a stop sign here. Um, and you can hold shift if you want it to be you know, specific angle, just flat, um, you know, straight line. If you don't hold shift, you can do different angles like that. Now, one thing to consider when you're clicking and dragging this, not let go yet, press the up arrow on the keyboard and it creates more edges until it almost looks like a circle. Press the down arrow and it takes away the number of edges okay, until you have a triangle. So if you want to make a perfect triangle, that's how to make it. Use the polygon tool or the uh, pentagon shape and hexagon. Okay, delete that one. And you can also do star tool, same thing here. If you press the up arrow while you're holding it, it'll create a starburst. A lot of times they use that in advertisements, um, you know, new low price. You go all the way down, it'll go down to a triangle also. A diamond shape, a star, you know, and then more, more edges like that. Okay. And the flare tool, don't probably need to worry about it. I mean, it's just kind of hokey. I'm not really sure when you would use it. Um, I don't see it used very often. But the other shapes are very helpful when you're making designs and logos and illustrations. Thank you.